Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm ready for another smelly vision. Um, I've been really obsessed with testing new fragrance and fragrance samplers or flights. Um, this one is coming to you from Confessions of a Rebel. Um, I saw this I think on Instagram and it just seemed really interesting and I liked um, the fun names of the products and then I also like like what the company is about. It's cruelty free, it's vegan, it's gender fluid. Um, they have a 30 day return policy. Um, and I like doing sampler sets. So I just did it. Um, I got what's called the fragrance flight. It came in this little cute mesh bag with all the samples. You get nine samples in that. Um, their typical sample size, which is like this has each one has its little paper thing here tells you a little bit about the fragrance um and then we'll go over the notes and which ones i like which ones i don't like all of that jazz uh long story short this particular fragrance flight would have been 36 dollars. i had a coupon code so i think mine was 29 so just look out for those um so yeah what it says about the discovery kit it says you deserve to have it all you can take it home with our nine piece discovery set so it's packed with nine of our in your face fragrances these scents are sized just right to tag along whatever the night wherever the night takes you or speed dating arrange them until you find the one you like um so yes just spray them on plus when you purchase the sampler set you get 25 dollars off a full-size bottle as well so we're just gonna start with them um in the order they are on the website and kind of go from there i've smelled all of these i've worn all of these um i have some thoughts but uh we will just get into it so i'm gonna start with this one it's a it's called get a room um, the little cute paper here says that it's all heat and plenty of skin. This scent layers mandarin, smooth woods, liquid vanilla, say, clear sage oil, and a bite of forbidden apple. You don't know how it will start, but you absolutely know where it's going to end. Um, so the names are really cheeky. The scents are kind of unique. I think they're definitely... Um, like a unisex for everybody. Um, when I smell this, I definitely think masculine for sure. That was like the first thing. The first thing you really smell is kind of that mandarin right off that top there. And for me, it's definitely like woody, ambery. But let's look at my notes. What did I say about this particular fragrance as I wore it? I said that it's woody, smells like herbs, spicy, definitely immense fragrance. Um, I ranked this number eight, so definitely not something I enjoyed wearing just because I don't like um, anything that's too masculine on me. So it wasn't the absolute worst, but it's definitely not one that I can recommend, and that one is called Get a Room. Um, definitely fabulous for a man or someone who invokes more of a masculine energy for sure. The next one up is, I just, again, I it's the names for me, people. I'm such a sucker for, for fun and out there names. This one is called Bitch Please. And what it says is in your face fruit notes like black caron mingled with jasmine petals weaved a delicate bed of tangled elements. Um, it has sass, bold, brass, and unafraid to bear it all. Creamy sandalwood on the skin invokes a carefree, confident kind of vibe. You know exactly who you are, and you are, in fact, the fucking boss. Okay, I love that. Gonna spray it again, just because I like the refresh right off the bat. Ooh, this one smells good. This one, uh, I basically the notes are for you guys black caron raspberry jasmine oak monts and sandalwood i liked this one a lot i said that it's bold sexy creamy i said it smells really good definitely a good woody fruity fragrance and i liked this one a lot this one i voted my number two i really liked this i just wish it stayed with me a little bit better you lose a lot of that sweetness once it dries down so it just kind of becomes kind of woody and warm 
but I did really, really like that particular one. So next up on the list is this one is called Fuck Mondays. All right, so this one says, lively citrus, energetic jolts to crush the day, while fruity elements like peach, skin, and ap apple take the edge off the intensity. Clear sage again, sandalwood. Um, it says, while comforting notes like suede and skin musk keeps the scent and you grounded. So just really cute sayings. Again, this particular fragrance has uh, bergamot, apple, peach, clear sage, and sandalwood. Those are like the keynotes. I'm gonna spray it again, and then we'll go over what my thoughts were when I wore it. I, I always take notes. Again, ugh, doesn't smell bad. It's just definitely masculine. It is pulling masculine. So I said men's definitely fresh, woody, um, I voted this a seven. Again, I'm just not into wearing like a man's fragrance, um, or a more masculine fragrance. Um, all of these ones that were for more masculine remind me of like candles I like or scents like at home that are okay, but definitely not for me. Love high. And then this, it says, it says somewhere between the lust and lost peach nectar with orange flower jasmine is a tantalizing fragrance. Shake up just a little bit sweet success. Apple reveals new texture and sensuality against powerful bold woods. Everything goes, but first dive right in. Again, the little things they have to say about them, it's just really cute. This uh, brand definitely has some cool coolness about it. So this is Love High. I'm gonna spray it again. I got kind of a, definitely a woody, it smells more woody floral, even though I know it's supposed to be a woody fruit. Um, this one did not last very long. It fell a little flat. That's what I said. Kind of smells woody, fruity, dirty, like dirt. Um, I put that at number four, not a bad smell. Definitely, I would say pulls more um, unisex. It's right in the middle. A man or a woman could wear that. I don't feel like it's super gender specific, but it was number four for me. And then this one is called Almost Single. It says you're living every day like it was your last, and who's n and and why not? There's a spicy recklessness to this fragrance. It has cardamom, black pepper. It's all heart and kind of hazy. A rosemary violet leaf rise to the surface, followed by a smooth sandalwood. Yeah, I can still smell on the paper. I'm not even going to spray this one. Anything with like a black pepper and cardamom scent together, I do not like. This is extremely masculine. This is very woody, all woody. I don't like full woody fragrances. Um, this was number nine. This is my absolute least favorite. And I will probably throw that sample in the trash because I won't even use it to like spray in my house or smell up because I just can't stand the darn smell. It's a huge, huge pass for me. And I do not like that fragrance at all. Next up is called Let's Be Real. All right. Let's spray my little paper here while we're chatting about it. Always refreshes my memory with my notes. Ooh, okay. It says, because it's all about you and in your face with endless plush vibes and a big, bold floral heart, says Jasmine, Tuberose, Tonka Bean, command attention while Vanilla and Cashmere Woods keeps the blend grounded. So yeah, it smells pretty good on the paper. What did I say about it though? I said this is a solid fragrance. I voted this number three. I said it's sweet like vanilla and flowers. It's 100% that scent. Um, very sensual. This would be a really good, I would say more like fall winter scent just because it has that really strongness of vanilla and you definitely get that cashmere woods, which kind of gives you that second skin feeling. That one is pulled off really well. I've tried other fragrances that have that second skin and they're just not very good. All right, so next up is this fragrance called Morning After. Hmm, cheeky, right? Um, I'll spray that one again just so I can get in the vibe. Okay, this one feels as good as the night before. 
decadent and hot. This vibrant Italian lemon and herb notes bring the joy of joy and jolt of energy while lavender, patchouli, and tonka bean take the edge off and lingering haze. So this one again smells, it actually smells really good. I think if it was a candle, I would love it or like a room spray. Um, but my notes for this particular one, I gave it a six. I felt like it was kind of a warm, spicy, anything with patchouli kind of gives you that, but I do love a good Italian lemon. Um, this just wasn't a fragrance for me. Again, I pulled too masculine, but if you made this a candle, I'd probably love it. The next one, which is the whole reason I ordered this freaking package, it's called Bite Me. Um, this is definitely gourmand. Um, I read all the notes before I ordered, and this is why I ordered specifically. It's for this fragrance called Bite Me. You're never one to bite your tongue, but but are always one to bite back. Sweet strawberry flirts with a red apple while vanilla, orchid, and jasmine turn up the heat. Just before people assume you're too sweet, a shot of golden rum checks them immediately with that sass. Ever so timely coming back. So this fragrance right off the bat, I knew I would love the notes. I love a fruity fragrance and I do love a good gourmand. Everything in this is amazing. That strawberry, that apple, the vanilla orchid, and even the golden rum. Obviously the jasmine in here, but this is just a sweet, sweet fragrance. Very almost edible, hence the name Bite Me, right? What I said about it, this is by far my number one fragrance. The Bite Me was really, really good. My only negative, it just didn't last as long as I would like, which is pretty typical for fruity fragrances. They just don't last as long as I would hope, but this is definitely the winner for me. Bite Me is very, very good. And last but certainly not least is this guy here. It's called Well Played. This one. Oh, all right. It says, unlike your smooth, confident energy, fresh lavender bergamot, open the scent on a vibrating note. While rich elements such as tonka bean, cocoa seed characterize warm, similarities to your wittiness and your laughter. The results, a self as a self assured scent that moves through life as smooth as you do. Again, this is another men's fragrance. If it was a candle or a home spray, I'd like it. I do not like those type of scents on women. I just, it's a very warm ambery scent, which I know they make more fragrances that have those notes that don't, don't pull so masculine, right? Again, it's just not for me, but I do like the notes themselves. What I said about it is it's a fresh, earthy, energizing, bright, sweet fragrance. It got number five. Um, so that is that. So overall, let's go back through my notes and we'll pull out the ones that I like. Just number one and number two, because I think that's most important. Again, it's going to be Bite Me. This fragrance is so, so good. It's a true gourmand really sweet. If you love sweet, but a little more sophisticated, like, yeah, this smells straight up candy like, but there's enough maturity to it that it doesn't smell like you're, you know, a child, definitely appropriate for a woman. And then the other one, which is bitch, please. It just has this wonderful scent to it that I wish it just had more gusto, like a longer lasting to it. For whatever reason, it gives me like fruity beach vibes and I love that. I love the I love a sweet gourmand. I love a beach vibe fragrance and anything with fruit. I think it's maybe the black currant that's kind of giving me that with that sandalwood, the oak moss and the jasmine and the fruit. It's just these two by far are the best. If I was to order anything from this company, it would be these two, especially if you were a woman, you would love these. If you're a man, I don't know if either one of these will be very good for you. I think Bite Me is just too sweet. And I think Bitch Please definitely pulls just a little too feminine in my opinion. But I think these two are the most feminine of the group for me that aren't just like drowned with floral, right? 
but I definitely would recommend these two. These are two that I would think about including into my collection. The only reason I'm not is for longevity. They lack longevity for me and that is such a shame because I love the names, I love the company, I love what they're about, um, and I like how they smell, but if you don't have longevity, you're just not getting in my collection anymore, especially because I have a lot of fragrances already. But I love doing these videos for you guys so much. Um, if there is a scent um, sample set that you guys want me to try or fragrances that you would love for me to try out and review for you, I'm happy to do that. Just leave it down in the comments box below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday. In the description box will always be my Instagram for daily posts. Uh, and I will catch you guys on the next one.